the Beetle Garage. We are back in the breeding and uh, rearing process of Goliatus regius. It's another week gone. I will uh, check the substrate today. I want to find out whether we have to change the substrate now and how the growth of the larva is going on. Also decide how many feed pellets I give them every day because I think that I presented them a little bit too many of the feed pellets and uh, that's it for today. We check the growth uh, parameters. Here I made a, a graph of the the biggest larva that I have. Uh, last time one week ago it the biggest was 25 grams uh, already. The smallest was uh, around 8 gram uh, last week and what you and this is the average here it's about around 40 uh, grams now. So and here is the curve of the Czech growth experiment. Um, I translated these growth parameters here into my graph and the, the, the growth curve that they produced is the, the one here on the bottom. So the, at the moment that we have one lot of 25 and the smallest around 8 the average there was uh, around 5 gram because now I know from Mad Max who sent me the larvas that they hatched around 3 to 5 weeks before they arrived here so I could recalculate the, the date of the hatching of the larva and that's what I did so that I can have a, a real curve of the life cycle of these uh, animals. It's interesting to see because this gives you some uh, background about the normal development curve of a larva. And, and if we go back to this graph, we realize that the mold from L2 to L3 here in this gross uh, experiment was around 5 gram here. But uh, in our curve the, the mold was in uh, around this uh, field so it's about around 8 grams so around here and now we have already uh, during the mold we had um, a lot of us with 10 grams so we see that our curve is uh, more steep than the other one and it seems that they didn't give protein here in this L2 phase so that the real growth only started after they began feeding uh, proteins in the fresh L3 Stage. Yeah, let's have a look through the boxes in the German uh, playlist. I already did this with some of the other uh, boxes and that's what we will do now here. Also we want to find out how many pellets have been left in the substrate. So let's see what's that. This larva was 20 grams one week ago. I gave a lot of pellets, you see 10, 10, 10, 12, 12, 12, 12, every day, so this must be too much. Uh, but I don't see signs of growing mold here, so that's nice. On the top I don't see any pellets that have been left, and then I check the quality of the substrate with my nose. If it reminds me of a cage of lions or tigers in the zoo, that's the urea stuff uh, in the uh, urine. So that's the that's the thing that uh, gives the substrate a bad smell. And if you find this, you should change the substrate. I have this sli a slight idea about that, but ha let's have a look first at the lower one. How many of the pellets are left here in this box? Now she's on the, quite on the, on the bottom. Oh, she's already. Pretty nice. So you can see that if you give 10 pellets a day or 12, that's around 3 grams every day. You know, that's a lot. But you can see here, they also eat a lot. So this is uh, pretty big now already. It's 23 grams, more or less. Huh? So how many? She added to, let's see, she was... 20, as he gained 3 grams, so that's not too much 
for the a lot of pellets I gave, so now she's 23 grams, 30. So I will have to reduce the amount of pellets here clearly because as you can see there are too many left in the substrate. So what we do, we just fill in some new substrate in the box. This is the fresh substrate. I have prepared already a big amount of this fresh substrate. So you just can uh, change it. You put in the larva again. And then we have to reduce. Let's say we go now back to the health of this amount. Because 3 grams, it means that I, I count with 1.5 feet conversion ratio. It means if you have 3 grams of gain of the body mass, it must be 4.5 grams of feet pellets. That's 18 pellets in a, a week. That's more than a little bit more than three pellets a day. So this time I give four huh, here and I will see tomorrow whether she has eaten all of them. So that's one of the results when we go through our um, through our boxes that we can check how many of the pellets are uneaten and that we have to re reduce the, the amount of feed. So I give four uh, here, this is number two. It's now 23 grams. But you see that's it's tenfold the body mass of when we started. But I have I, I will show you one of the biggest. Now this was a small one, 9.5. It it was uh, L2 one week ago. Here you see I had to take out some pellets here too, then I added some, I added some, I so it seems that in this phase where they don't eat for two, three days, that must have been the, the moment when they molded to L3. So we can so if we don't see any pellets on the top, yeah we see two. So we can guess that this larva now also is in L3 stage. Let's have a look. Yeah it is. It's an L3 now, as you can see here, and it's not, of course, in the, during the mold day, sometimes they lose uh, body mass, that's just normal, you don't have to be afraid if that happens in your uh, rearing, that's just normal. So this larva bed is now 11.45 grams. Before she was, before she was 9 point so it 11.45 grams so she gained two grams so that's a clear sign that she has eaten uh, uh, some of the pellets here or we can put this material back here if you see some pellets you just take them out but here we don't we not, won't find a lot because she has eaten most of them and if you want some more a little bit fresh substrate here also and then we give back the freshly molded L3 larva and we have to decide how many pellets we give and I start with four here because I'm feeding them now every day so four is about one gram a day and that I think is a good uh, amount to start with so this is the number six. Huh? Number six is now 11.45 grams. So that's the job. Uh, I want to show you one of the bigger ones that uh, that we had. Oh yeah, I have to tell you also the, of course the sad story. We lost two larvas. One was the small larva. You remember that uh, was two gram in the substrate. Didn't eat anything. Now she died. She was on top of the substrate, not eating anything anymore. And we lost one other larva on the brink fr from L3 to L4. In the young L4 stage, she suddenly came up, sat on the surface of the substrate and died. That's what you see here. And of course, at the moment, I saw that I took them out and separated them from the other uh, larvas. Yeah, but let's go on. It's not bad if you... 
if you find something like that, that's just normal, you know. Also in nature, not every larva makes it till an adult. Uh, sometimes you can judge why this happened. Sometimes or mostly you have no idea. So you just have to accept it. And if you find that it, it would have been your own fault, you can try to change your things. But do not change too many things because you see a dead larva um, it cannot mean that you did everything wrong when you have 18 uh, from 20s after more than one month. So we learn from the mistakes also, huh? but it's sometimes difficult to learn from the mistakes because sometimes we do not know what we did wrong. So that's uh, our work. What happened here last time I had to remove some pellets here. It was 12.2 grams. Let's see what happens here. Now it's eaten everything. The smell is normal. We don't. It's not. It's not something bad here. Let's see what we find. We find the the larva here. Let's see how many grams she has. Looks great. Also, now she said. 14.7 she was 12.2 now she's 14.7 after one week she gained 2.5 grams that's great so we add four more pellets uh, we do not I, I know that I gave too many uh, feed pellets in the last days because I thought I don't want to be the one who makes them uh, starve if they want to eat they can but now I realize that was too much I go back to four pellets now a day because I changed to a daily feeding system now and yeah this is number seven it's 14.7 grams and this is nice that you, when you make a bookkeeping like that, you can just go back and, and see whether the curve seems okay or you have to change uh, something. Now this was a, let's see what we have here. I just want to show you the biggest that I have now. This is another one. This is number, number 20. Also, yeah, I have too many etiquettes <laughs> uh, labels on the box. I don't know. So this was 13.7. That was not the biggest. This one was the biggest. Yes, I, I put it into a bigger box because I think this is the biggest level. Now let's see what happened here. But also I, I had to I added 10, 8, 0, 10, 12, 12, 12 pellets. It was 25 grams. Uh, one week ago. She didn't eat everything on top. You see probably there are too many pellets in the substrate and I will have to change this probably. So let's see. Woo! Yeah, this is really... I have to... I have to find another plastic box to, to put her on the weight scale because this is already too big for that weight scale. Let's see. 29. So she's nearly 30 grams now already. Wow, that's a real nice larva. The substrate seems okay. But anyway, because I think I gave too many pellets, I will add some fresh, uh, fresh substrate now also. So this is probably the first that goes over the 30 gram mark. 12, 4, 5, I, this one, I, 7, 8, this one. I give eight pellets. Yeah, I think she will. This larva will like this. This is number three. Is twenty nine grams. That's great. Good development. Twenty nine gram. I got to eight pellets. Yes, that's the job. And again, if you if you look at the at the development curve now, I mean the biggest larva now went up to 29 up here, 29 grams. And in this, uh, but the, in the same time, if you look at this curve, the highest point of 
the, the law, the larva in the Czech experiment was uh, under 40 grams. So our larva is here already. And short after L2, that it means it would be around here. So our curve is very steep here. That's nice because then the development time is not too long and we can await that they go into pupation in uh, months or so already. If not, they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, then they, it will last a little bit longer. So thanks for watching. Have a nice time. <laughs>